Hello students. Today we are about to discuss the views of 3D shapes. Let us first try to understand the difference between 2D and 3D shapes. 2D figures or shapes. Plain shapes that have measurements like length and breadth are called 2D shapes. For example, a rectangle, a square, a triangle or a circle. 3D figures or solids. Solid objects having three measures like the length, breadth and height or depth are called 3D shapes. They also occupy space. For example, a cube, a cuboid, a cone, a cylinder or a sphere. Three-dimensional objects can look differently from different positions. So they can be drawn from different perspectives. There are three different views of 3D objects depending on the viewer's angle. For example, let us now see three different views of a hut. The top view. When we see the object from top, its top is only in the view and the drawing shows only the top. Here for example, in the case of a hut, when we see the hut from the top, only two trapeziums come in the picture. The side view. When we see the object from the side, we see only that side. Now, in the case of our hut, the side wall, one part of the roof and a window of the hut is in our view from the side. The front view. When we see the object from the front, only the front part comes in the view. In our hut, we can see the door, the front wall and the outline of the roof. Now next let us see and understand the different views of figures made by joining cubes. Let us arrange the cube in the form of a solid this way. Let us now look at the objects from the front. What do we observe when we look at this object from the front? Yes, there are four squares seen from the front. Moving on to the side view. This is the side view of the object showing just two squares. Next to the top view. So what do we see when we look at it from the top? Yes, we can see three squares from the top. Now let us look at another combination of cubes. Look at this object in front. What do you observe when you see it from the front? Yes, there are two squares. Now let us move to the side view of the same object. What do you observe? Yes, there are three squares. Now to the top view. So when we look at the object from the top, what can you see? Yes, there are four squares. Now you should be in a position to visualize many more such 3D objects when viewed from different positions. Before we conclude this lesson, let us try to recapitulate what we have learned today. We have understood the difference between 2D and 3D shapes. Also, we tried to visualize 3D objects when viewed from different positions. We also related the 2D figures seen from different angles to the corresponding portion of the 3D objects. Thank you and have a nice day.